Alright, welcome back to the review bar part two um, of the trick or treat unboxing or part one depending on how you're having to uh, pick up these videos. But part two of the trick or treat studios unboxing first was Harry um, from this box. Harry from something attacked me over a creep show. Think you're going to all like this very much. I just took a peek. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not even sure what what order, order to do these in, and in fact, they might be their own video. But um, I got pretty much all of the available old school Trick or Treat Studios Halloween de decorations, flat paste up Hall Halloween decorations, and. Uh, from just looking at the box real quick, they look pretty fantastic. And uh, these are, we will use these. Uh, these will get used. I know I'm a collector and keep stuff. I almost, you know, keep stuff in the box and bag and all that stuff. But these are coming out and they are getting used for Halloween. <clears throat> all right, let's take a quick look. The, I'm, I'm telling you, the artwork on just this package is freaking phenomenal. I mean, fantastic, right? In fact, it's so good, I think you all should consume. All right, so... <clears throat> Know the best way to open this. I'm kind of. I don't want to bust up this. It looks. I'm telling you, it looks so good. I don't want to bust up that um, that top. So it's a smart way to do this. <clears throat> Sorry for wasting time this way. I think I'm gonna go here and, and kind of give birth here. Widen the bottom and <laughs> so fantastic. So and I, I'm gonna have to move to to, uh, to get us through these pretty well but Top alien coming out of the jack o' lantern. Pretty fantastic. <laughs> well done. Treat. <laughs> well done. Pretty cool, pretty cool. <clears throat> Very well done. Of course I have this mask. And, and I'm really pleased with that mask. Gonna love it. Very good. So first, first one down looks fantastic. Uh, again, these are these are going up. I think I think I could probably now just go back. I, what I did <clears throat> was flip it upside down, come down about two inches, cut it. There's plenty of space, and then when I want to store it again, I can just slap a piece of tape 
right on there. So if anyone, I think you know, preserve that that cardboard at the top. It looks fantastic. I cut it about two inches down. So there's a a lip there. Cut it two inches down. Fold it over. Tape it. Good to go. <clears throat> Next, what do we want to do next? Wow. All right. Shall we do Halloween three? I'm going to have to move. There's actually two more sets of these. So I'm going to have to move it. Halloween three. Again, these little cardboard tops are pretty cool. Um, so what I did is I found about two inches down, there's actually a hole there already <clears throat> that they put into the plastic. Kind of get that going, having downward pressure and it kind of goes and it gives you that top layer so I think we're good for two for two on that one I don't think I jacked it up too badly okay it's really cool wow. these will look great around the house old school it's like when I was a kid hangers Right? The witch. It's almost time. It's almost time. Two more months. At the time of this recording. Pretty cool detail. You know, pretty good homage to the old school hangers and good homage to the the um, movie. And even has, I don't know, to me, this reminds me of the, when you'd have the superhero or the monster mask, then this like the picture of the monster would be there. That's what I'm remembering from those old school kind of plasticky costs, kind of cheaper costumes. They'd get in the boxes, it'd just be a picture of the what you're supposed to be on the chest and then the mask. That's what that reminds me of. So this looks kind of glow in the darkish, but I don't think it would. I'll have to check later. But it looks like one of those skeletons. We still have one. I had one when I was a kid. We actually bought one for this house. Those poseable, jointed, long, about five foot tall skeletons that have that green glow to them that almost look like they they would glow, but they don't. All right, so let's keep it moving. Very good blend of the poster. And the trick-or-treaters. Very, very nice. So let's keep this train rolling. Again, let them go to the bottom. I can fold it over, put a piece of tape. Rock and roll. <clears throat> Oh yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, an American werewolf in London. Again, the cardboard hangers are fantastic. Just the the tops of these are fantastic. I had to get these. Um, just had it happen. 
Ooh, it's kind of bent. This is the first one. That, hmm. Interesting. I'm seeing something interesting. Let's check it out. <clears throat> one of these got a little damaged, a little bent, but it's not. It's not horrible. By a long shot. <clears throat> I know we're wasting a little bit too much time on that, but I'll just keep it rolling. Looks like we've got an assortment of some of the nightmare sequences. Some of the depictions of the nightmare sequences. I'm gonna do one last. One particular one balance. This is kind of this is really nice. I mean, this is something. Heck, I mean, you could hang this. This doesn't. I mean, this just looks like a cool American Werewolf in London. I mean, put this on a back matting, a black matting, and you could make a nice little poster out of this. Almost just to have around for. It's just a nice piece of. Nice piece of art on it. And just to point out, it does have the you know, little hanger, the punch out hole. So let's see what's going on here. This one's actually hinged. So let's see what's going on here. Oh man, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to figure this out. I don't know. What am I missing here, folks? He, he's not supposed to look like a giant ant. <laughs> Seriously, can't figure this out unless it's made wrong. I don't know. Is that right? Is that it? Do I have it right now? Oh my gosh. Oh. Is that it? It's so bulky. Look at look at this. What? I made him into an ant. A wear ant. That's probably it, huh? All right. I'm going with that. Kind of looks like a lion. But I know what that meant. So pretty cool. I like it. One of my favorite movies. I've got some good collectibles from that. The wolf mask, the Jack Theater mask. The, um... Nightmare Demon with the rarer of the two. I don't know if that's the Uzi or the knife. I think it's the Uzi. But I have that also. And, and I, one of my... I do intend to do a... complete uh, collection of my American Werewolf stuff. Because I still haven't shown you that Nightmare Demon figure. Last but not least... What most of you are probably waiting for the Halloween again.
very cool artwork. Let's check it out. And I think one of these is going to be pretty sweet. Um, I think we're going to like the Myers a lot. And these things are all kind of huge. Where's that hole? Careful not to ruin everything. <clears throat> The Michael Myers is going to be pretty cool. I think that's going to be a big, big favorite. As long as he doesn't look like a lion or an ant. <laughs> well done. So, note the details. Ghost of the Glasses, it says Strode Realty in the Haunted House. Of course, we got Michael. I like it. The Notched Nose Pumpkin Jack o' Lantern. Good detail. Same here. With the knife behind his back, just kind of. <whistles> nothing to see here. Cool detail. And then. Pumpkin, jack o' lantern. What do we got here? We got a couple, two more things, three more things. I like this. I think that's a very well done. Nice artwork. I think the pumpkin is kind of. It's kind of overly grainy, almost rot looking, like it's starting to shrivel. Very nice. And just a clean, clean Myers. Looks good. And I think people are really going to enjoy this one. See if I can do this a little bit more efficiently than I did the American World Fund. Oh, one of the legs got bent back. Oh, that stinks. legs got bent but it still looks good kind of the full length skeleton style Michael See if you can see there, kind of see how long this thing is, how big this is. Fantastic, huh? Very cool. <clears throat> so let's end on a high note. This is getting a little bit long. But Trick or Treat Studios hangers for 
Halloween, Halloween 3, American Werewolf in London, and they live, must have, must have as decorations. Again, thanks for watching the review bar. Please like and subscribe and pass on to your friends. Thank you.